thumbnails for tomorrow's episode for uh, Pop Culture Crisis. This is uh, Doctor Strange 2 being banned in China because it features the Epoch Times, which is something that only probably people who watch Cast Castle or know Tim will understand why that matters, why uh, an anti-communist newspaper <laughs> got a movie banned in China, which is apparently in the trailer. Where they, they found a scene where they went like, where they went like, uh, frame by frame and found like a little itty bitty clip of it in like a in like a one of the you can't see it in this one but you have to watch this clip you know how like when you're watching a, a thing like this and they've got newspapers and like the things on the street well there was like one of them that has like the Chinese letters for Epoch Times and that apparently is enough to get it uh, oh this is right here it says seen at two, 25 seconds is the minute long is the Epoch Times signature yellow distribution boxes. Oh, it's that one right there. There it is. Then I can see it. Apparently, that's what that is, and that was enough to like. Now they're like, we're not going to release it in China because of this. So they shouldn't be pandering to China, anyways. Not in China. It's not going to be in Qatar. It's not going to be in Kuwait. Or I don't know about Kuwait. It's not going to be in China. It's not going to be in uh, Qatar. It's not going to be in Saudi Arabia. A bunch of other places. So then we make videos about how. Why do they end up? pandering to the, for these demographics for these markets anyways if they never end up releasing the movies. They haven't released a Marvel movie in China since like Endgame. So. Who knows? Fuck you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean. That's a little extreme. No, it's not. You're not even allowed to make anything anymore unless you've experienced it your, yourself. We're going to configure this to be a separate zone of the house that's <laughs> not connected to any other zone just because of the limitations of the software. Oh, it's Where's connected. It? Can you get the fuck out? <laughs> it's connected, but there's no Wi-Fi yet. But it says connected. Uh, do speed tests um, to find out. It shouldn't take that long, but the app is notoriously hot garbage. We're really going to start making our own um, open source Wi-Fi hardware soon. As part of the ON Foundation's mandate. The thing is, when you have a lot of features um, on like Soho or small business routers, they, they want you to pay an arm and a leg for that, and so they don't have the interoperability like between different thing. brands. And like she's at, like in the in the uh, ever present eye of the media, she went yeah. from like a, a God, no so celebrity to like the, the girlfriend of the number one guy. You know? Yeah, That's yeah, the, like, she was uh, cast into the shadows. She's really a victim of the whole situation. If you, I mean, if you ask me, yeah. no, it's not connected. Uh, it says connected, but it's not loading. I could just put just a switch viral. and get you internet right away. So I don't think I'm the problem. Okay. I'm never the problem, and I'm always the victim. I have all of my schizophrenic ramblings ready. That's good. Show them to show them to the camera. The first one's Pete Davidson, right? <laughs> no. I don't know uh, if I wrote order? some unsavory things on this. Order? I just closed them all down. I thought I, w I asked if they were old. Oh. Uh, um. Stay in the life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where, where did you close? Uh. I know Amber Heard watches Pop Culture Crisis, and that's why I'm going to recruit Probably you for her episodes. PR team. She's going to see this, and then she's going to email you and be like, yeah. I need your help. I know. Like, please help I'm, me. I'm here for My her. reputation is going down the tubes. Yeah. And you're the only you're the only person who could save it. I may be. Like, you may be the only person be. who could like spin this narrative around. Well, sometimes a woman is worth the rooting your life for. I don't know if she's one of them, but this is such a case. I the the you, uh, chilly? you should be fine without the. Are you a little chilly? <laughs> Is Dane a little chilly? Only a little. <laughs> sound check. Uh, How do I sound? How do you sound? Uh, a little bit louder. Sound check. A little bit louder. Sound check. Mary, sound check, please. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Mary, please. <laughs> Again. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> I think. 
Get everything out of your system, Mary? No, let's just go. Okay, let me just double check on this. I promise not to say anything racist. Sexist. Homophobic. I feel like sexist is allowed, though. Islamophobic, transphobic. Okay. Okay. Any of the phobics. I prefer <laughs> if you left them. Fine. Cam, <laughs> did I leave my car keys downstairs? Love the confidence. <laughs> You're so angry. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No. Can I get one? I wonder if they're in my pockets. <clears throat> no. No? They're on your head, silly. Were they, do you think, were they up here, could Ben have grabbed them by accident? Maybe. Dane, you ready? Yep. Are you sure? At, at, at one thirty, I gotta do the upload, but like... <laughs> we'll wait four minutes. We'll wait four minutes. What do the keys look like? I'm gonna go look for keys. Uh, it's a single uh, camp Toyota key. I mean, I'll go with it. A single key? Yeah, it's just a one key. Now I feel bad because I'm not helping. Did you do your upload? Mm hmm. Okay. Three, two. What is going on, everybody? It's episode 110 of Pop Culture Crisis. My name is Brett. It is a crisis today. Uh, getting started. <laughs> that voice you hear laughing is my co-host. Introduce yourself, please. Lost was a little overinflated. I don't think Netflix is like struggling in any way. And I was but pointing out, I was like, you do understand that they have like 250 million yeah. subscribers, right? Like 200. And I mean, they're cracking down on shared accounts, which means more people are going to have to buy them. From a business perspective, you don't ever want to be losing. They should, you know, uh, stagnant growth would be just as bad, or would be bad too. Losing is definitely like a sign that things aren't going well. But in the Grand scheme of things, in a turbulent time, They're bad economy, okay. yeah, bad economy, uh, everything going on, losing Russia, two hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand subscribers is a lot here, but it's not the end of the world. We'll have to see where things go. Now they can only have like golden caviar for like five days a week. Yeah, and and they will uh, only executives get to use the golden toilets uh, in yeah. the executive suites. That's that's the way things. Really going bad though. Uh, I was watching, or I, I read a couple, like, there's a couple of Deadline articles in Variety articles that I read, which are, like, um, they're more industry, like, numbers and uh, uh, background based on, like, what's going on in film, and I usually ignore them because they don't really punch well for this type of talking, or, you know, for the stuff we talk about, and they were talking about how, like, an executive was complaining about how another executive, they said, you shouldn't do the Dave Chappelle uh, special because it's going to cause strife within the company. I'm like, that was like the last successful comedy special you guys did. Like, they don't even connect why things are going bad. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You make the content without ever seeing the source material, and then you write 260 scripts of which you that's not even that. Bad. Sorry, uh, well, that's uh, Paramount. Dog. This is just a genius strategy. Of, like, you know, like <laughs> the greats emulate the greats, and then. You release a show that's like spiritually and in content nothing like the original source material, and you make millions. All I'm saying is that you make cuties and you make the that awful cowboy bebop version they made, and then they blame Dave Chappelle. They clearly have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Today did not go by well. Or wait, today did not go well. Um, I didn't do very well. Mary did fine. Dane did fine. I didn't do very well. I was tired today. And too many good topics to like. How do, you, how do you phrase that? Too many good topics that it was never go the conversation was never going to come out as well as you like imagine in your head. I thought that the show was fantastic today. She's lying. Why would I lie about that? You're wearing sunglasses inside. You can be capable of anything. I think like Brett is overly critical of his own performance, whereas like we finished the show and I think it went great. He's like, that was terrible. I didn't say they did terrible, I said I did terrible. That's, there's a point of preference. But like, I don't even notice when he thinks he did terribly, That's or when worse. he's it's like- awful all the time. Maybe just, you just have like, poor judgment of your own performances. Oz and Oz, man, they're the enemy of everything. After we finish recording, you have to then bring it into, uh, we did the thumbnails first, luckily, because we had the subject picked out. Uh, and then what we do is, um, we cut it up. Well, first you export like an MP3 version. That's the Spotify uh, and you know the audio-only podcast version. And then from there you have to go in and you have to cut up each segment. 
So like for this we have, um, this is like the intros here gets cut out. My name is Brett. All this stuff gets cut out and you go right into segment number one. So then to start. Uh, which I is like right here and then you go down and then after the end of that segment where you cut right before you go to the next one you have to put in the header with all the social medias listed, all that stuff there. And then you cut up and then you go just, and then you have to start moving out the, the, the like, there's like extra stuff that gets caught in between the topics. It's not super relevant to like what you're talking about next, but it's how you move the conversation from one subject to another without feeling super awkward. Like, okay, now we're just gonna talk about this. And I, for the, you know, for the life of me, still do this thing where I kind of raise my voice when we're about to switch topics. I need to work on not doing that. But you have to cut that stuff out in the middle and then start cutting the topics up. And like right now we're on subject two and I have to go then through. Um, cut it out to so you're in um, when it's like a full when it's in three camera mode right there you know that you're in the midst of the segment uh, and then when you go back to a one shot is how you know you're moving on to the next subject uh, so you have to find that general area and then clip um, and then when you're done you have a full segment so let's see if we can even even if it's you know the most loving supportive you know loving. environment I still think it's such a. I don't care if this man is a walking saint. You know the children for two weeks. Right, man. Spicy take there. The entirety of the episode ready to be put out tomorrow. Voila. We're done. Horrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> Mary talked to into it. Oh. It's already settled. Maybe. You don't have a choice in the matter. I take a Are nap for like an hour and then. <laughs> Aren't you excited? Sure. <laughs> He's he loves the idea. This is a bit. This no, is a bit. It's not a bit. If this is real, it's all real.